Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today, I'm gonna go over the weekly forecast for this week's Mutt content. Now, as you guys do know, we have some set stuff in stone, but I do believe we will be getting some new stuff this week. Considering what we've been getting, we're not gonna be getting all the usual stuff. I do believe we'll be getting some big promos this week, or at least a big promo this week, and then going through some of the weekly content, and kind of what I expect from all that. But guys, before we get into the, today's video, I do wanna keep doing this on Sundays. I do like this format for Sundays. I feel like it's a slower day. We wanna watch football. What a, it's just a good thing to just kind of recap what we're gonna be doing for this week. But guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, if you want a chance to be shouted out, all you do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on the noti bell. Now guys, for today's shout out, it's going to Hurlbert. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. I do appreciate you commenting on these videos, and of course, showing love on each and every video. How's that, guys? Let's get into this, let's get into this, go cover some of the content. Now, of course, you guys know what to expect for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a regular style Monday. Typically, we don't get much on Mondays from my understanding i mean i will be doing what, what i do enjoy about monday though guys you will get my team of the week predictions i love doing team of the week predictions so do expect those tomorrow uh, at the usual time probably in the morning if there's nothing out at all so expect team of the week predictions today's gonna be a fun sunday i'm looking very i'm looking very fo uh, forward to it i love sundays i love watching football and hopefully i can get some good predictions for you guys we hit on a lot last week we had claypool um we had almost every little lower set piece or at least most of them of course the legend ones are almost impossible to hit on guys and that's gonna be the 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 story of our lives this week or this madden in general that's gonna be so hard to hit on i just want to hit on one one or two and i will be content for the entire year because those are hard that's like it could be any player out of like 400 players per year over the course of like 60 years it, that math is just ridiculous guys but moving on from that then we have tuesday which of course is team of the week you guys can expect that drop now so far with the way we're trending guys based on team of the week we have that you know week one week two week three week four week five now for week four they were 90 overalls and then week three, they were 90 overalls. And then week two, they were, I believe, 89. So we're going two weeks at a time. So you can expect one more week of 91s before we head into the 92. So do expect that. Now, we had a quarterback last week. And then double offense, quarterback, and defense. So I probably expect, more than likely, they may do defensive hero this week. Of course, it does just depend on what happens actually in real life. But we got Odell. We got Odell. We got Chase Claypool. We got uh, Shaq Barrett. And then we got, let's see, back here. Dak Prescott. So we're, we're, we're out we're out numbering here on offense, four to one. I do expect some more defensive ones. Now, of course, they have to have a good um, performance, but they could outweigh an offensive performance by just the next best defensive performance. So as long as no one scores four touchdowns again, we should probably get a defensive player, of course. And they could do a lot of damage with these. I mean, I don't think they'll drop a, uh, like a moss or anything in this. But moving on to Wednesday, guys, we got wild card Wednesday. Now we've been through it all. I'm pretty sure we've had the power ups, we've had flashbacks. We've had heavyweights, we've had veterans, we've had just about everything we've of daily content we used to have. So the only thing I can expect now is this is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping they run out of things on Wildcard Wednesday. Oh, I think it was power expansion as well. Now I'm hoping what they do is they start mixing matching it. Like that's what I want to see. Like, okay, for today's Wildcard Wednesday, guys, you're getting one power up, one new power up, you're getting one veteran, one flashback, one heavyweight, and then uh, you know, two, two of this card, right? Or maybe one more new thing, but they've done one new thing every time. I feel like they're going to run out at some point and start renewing it. But I would love that. Like a wild card Wednesday, just one of everything. Like one extra team of the week card or something. Or just extra power-ups or something. I want them to mix and match. That could be a much more fun video. Much more well, fun content for us. But we got wild card Wednesday. What to expect? Like I said, I either hope they mix and match. And if they don't, they may just start over and go back to heavyweights again. I really don't know what route they're taking there. But more than likely, it could be that. Remember, they said it also could be extra from an existing program. So I think next Wildcard Wednesday, if most fear doesn't come out this week, well, early this week and we pass Wildcard Wednesday, I think next Wildcard Wednesday could drop more most feared stuff. Because they did say that they, it, Wildcard Wednesday potential to drop things from current programs that do come out. Like, I'm pretty sure they meant it in like that way. Like, if they want to drop extra cards, like a Wildcard Wednesday would be the day to do it. Now, for Thursday, of course, we have the Thursday LTDs. You guys expect, you guys know that. Now, on Thursday, I do expect at that point, if we don't have most feared yet, that's when we're going to be getting a... Um, a, uh, either a early night reveal or a late night reveal or a hint towards tomorrow's special stream which should be friday which i'd imagine they have to drop most fear friday now it's kind of upsetting because if they do drop most fear friday that does mean we're not getting most feared till like the 23rd ish i don't don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's something along those lines like the 22nd 23rd 24th so really really super late i don't know why they jam pack it into the last week of october it really sucks but 
hopefully we do get at that at least by this week because if they don't do it this week i guess we're just not getting most feared this year like i don't know and then of course following that like night guardians and whatever else end up dropping of course like two to three ltds but if they do drop that on Friday, that is our Friday content right there. We will have Friday Most Feared, of course, followed by Saturday Legends, and then probably a Sunday LTD. So that, that's kind of the, the, the recap of that. So beyond, if we do get Most Feared on Friday, what can you expect on that? Of course, sets, I do expect um, probably one or two masters. They usually don't give us every master the first day. They've always made Most Feared like a longer promo. But again, if they drop it so late, can they do that? Not entirely sure, but you can expect at least, at least one or two masters. You can expect, I hope, a house rule is that following Tuesday, like a few days later. Um, I expect I definitely expect some of the LTDs. That was fun last year. They gave us Le'Veon Bell, Calais Campbell, and Dante Hall. I don't want any of those guys, but the idea was nice. Give us three Sunday LTDs. Give us a Brian Finner in Sunday. L I could see that one. Brian Finner in Sunday LTD. If you guys didn't see Brian Finner and did confirm that he will be in Madden. Six foot seven wide receiver. That's crazy. He confirmed it on Twitter, so don't know when we'll get him, but most feared sounds about the time. And if not in years past, we've gotten him as a ghost of uh, past in Christmas. So either way, you could be looking at all those things. But super exciting stuff, guys. And then Saturday, we got the Legends, which would just be now. Oh, we do have the 50. Yeah, I, the 50, I was saving to the end of this because, of course, the 50 is your typical midday drop. Now, the thing with the 50 was that I wanted to save it because I, I have a pretty good idea here. Now, to look back on that for the 50, there's two ways that could, this could go. The 50 could either... I think the 50 or most feared is going to be where, where Vic comes out here. I mean, not Vic, sorry. Randy Moss. I think Randy Moss could be where he comes out. Now, the thing with Randy Moss is he's been in most feared before, and he's been in things like Mutt 10 before. So I don't know where they'll drop him now. The 50 makes the most sense, but most fear would be the most fun. So now they, I would love to see a scary tall or like a scary fast or just like, like instead of scary, what if the master, the LTD is scary everything. Like he's just scary tall, scary fast, scary strong. That's what Randy Moss kind of was. So that'd be cool if we have an LTD, we think they have an LTD Moss, a scary fast Moss or a 50 Moss. Now I don't know which one they're going to give us. Again, 50 makes most sense. because It's like the 50 greatest players in Mutt. So we know, we know Randy Moss is like top four on that list. But if they don't end up doing that, I do have to expect that he'll be getting the most feared card. So I think we're getting, I think we'll get Randy Moss in the next two weeks. That's kind of my prediction there. Now, and by next weeks, I mean like he could be like a second LTD and uh, most feared, not the day it drops. But I think we're getting him pretty soon. So do expect that. And then of course we got the Saturday Legends, which should be anyone you know. Typical. I feel like we're due for a Kevin Green or something like that. So expect one of those pretty soon. Ed Two Tall Jones as well. Uh, we did get Deacon Jones though, so I don't know if that's gonna throw that off a little bit. And then Sunday, like I said, expect an LTD. I feel like we could definitely get a Halloween LTD uh, this Sunday if we do end up getting most feared. Now, if we don't have most feared at that point, guys, cancel the Madden season because I don't know what we're doing if we don't have most feared by the following week, which is of course the 25th. So I really hope that's not the case. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. That's my Sunday, my Sunday weekly recap forecast, if you want to call it, for this week's content. Hope that gives you guys a good idea of this week's uh, this week's schedule, the calendar for this week enjoy but that's it for the video enjoy the rest of your day if you guys do need coins to pick up anything or you guys want to stock up for most of it head over to my reserve down below coins are discounted even more on top of what they just were discounted the other day take advantage if you use code pool you get an additional 15 percent off as well as you can go buy the 50 players and team of the week and everything on there as well directly and of course guys that's about it for the video if you guys need anything else comment down below i'll be out Peace.